Good morning, girlies. Good morning, everyone. It is uh, 7.52, and I've been up since right before 7.30 because I heard the sound of a little one. It was Alex. He got up first. He's been up since about right before 7.30, and already we're starting to mess up our room. He's been up for 25 minutes. And he's got his advent calendar, little chocolate Santa. He's watching Super Y. And he's been a happy boy this morning. My bathroom's clean, and um, the whole bath, I cleaned uh, the floors, uh, wiped baseboards, and I cleaned the toilet. Um, the sink and the tub, I will let Carly do that. I dusted um, the staircase coming up, and so now I have to start doing some dusting here in my room. So this is one of those light cleanings um, 
that I needed to do. I didn't need to get the pledge and all of that sort of thing. Um, so just using the Swiffer uh, was good enough. And I take the vacuum down and um, go downstairs. Carly's home from work. Um, Harry's running an errand. And she's downstairs with uh, Alex. So I'm going to go see what's going on down there. What time is it? It's 1226. And there's a Lacey at the door. So, just real quick, um, I did two big cleanings on my bathroom here recently because of the painters and that. So today just needed to be, you know, mop the floors, um, you know, clean the sinks, clean the toilet, clean the tub, clean the shower, uh, that sort of thing. But I didn't need to wipe down like my perfume bottles or anything like that. They really weren't so dusty. And so now I got more girlies. At the stairs. Okay, move. <clears throat> Just a minute. So, see, um, I cleaned their toilet out and cleaned the floors and everything. All Carly's got to do is clean the tub and she's got to clean the sink and clean the mirror, which it's really, look, it's not that dirty, but it still needs to be cleaned. Alex is getting antsy. He came over by the door over here and he wanted the door open so Carly opened it. Then he went to this door and he wanted that door open and Carly opened the door to show him that my car wasn't there. We couldn't go anywhere. Adam has my car because his is in the shop today getting something repaired on it and he's out Christmas shopping. And um, so Carly, when she came back, she says, we can't go bye-bye anywhere because we don't have a car. And he was already on the floor because he's wanting to throw a temper tantrum. And he started going like this, waving, went, bye-bye, bye-bye. So when Adam gets back, we're going to go take him to the park so he can go on the playground over there. So Carly and I are going to play gin. We have PJ Mask on the big TV. And are you going to eat your lunch? He's over there doing his letters. And Carly is shuffling. Oh, no, Carly's not shuffling. Carly is dealing. I am. Okay, I'll show you how I um, do my barbecue beef in the Instant Pot. So in here I have, uh, it's round, round steak. You could use roast. I've used roast before. Um, just whatever kind of beef or chicken that you want to use. This is probably about um, three pounds of meat. You can use whatever seasonings that you want. Sometimes I just do salt and pepper, uh, onion powder with it, um, or this Montreal steak. And I'm just going to throw some of this in here. This is three pounds of meat. So I'm not thinking about, oh, that seasons just, that's seasoning just the top portions. But this is all gonna get infused in there because I'm gonna pour water. So you're doing enough for your three pounds of meat, okay? Then I'm gonna dump in about two cups, one and a half cups. I had two cups of water. This is two cups of water in here. And I probably have about a cup and a half of water. Then I need my lid. This goes on. Okay, that goes on like that. You turn it, it'll do that noise again. You want to make sure this is all the way to the back, which it is. Um, now I'm gonna hit meat. And I had it at a little over hour and a half, so like an hour and a half with six minutes. And you just hit that. If I wanted more time, I would do the up or the down button. If I wanted more time, if I wanted less time, the down button. So once you get your time, it gives you a few seconds 
to change your mind to increase or decrease. And so since I didn't do anything, now it says on and that's it. I don't have to push no start, nothing. It goes by itself. Um, it's going to stay this way for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So, and the reason why is because um, this has to heat up to bring everything up to pressure. So, don't think that you can, you know, like I want to eat dinner in an hour and a half and I'm just going to throw my meat in there. No, you have to add extra time because you've got to get this time to get up to pressure. You're going to have to give it about a good half hour to do that. You want to hold both of our hands. You're excited. Are you over at the playground? We're over here at the park. You're going to go play? Are you excited? Yeah, you're going to go and play, aren't you? We got to walk all the way over to where the playground is. All the way over there. Yeah, you're excited. <laughs> Carly's looking at you. He wants your reaction because he's getting excited. Want to go on the swing? Where do you want to go first? <laughs> What are you going to do first? Watch your step. There you go. <laughs> All right, Bobby, you're going to have to meet him. Okay, big steps. Okay, you know what you're doing. There you go. Whee! <laughs> okay, you going to go again? You going to go up by yourself? Nope. Something else? Uh oh. Where are you gonna go now? How about a swing? You wanna go on the swing? You wanna go on the swing? There you go, that's a big swing. Let's go on that. There you go. Woo! Big swing! That's fun. That's mommies and daddies can get up there too. Or lots of kids. I want them like in that individual swing. Just push it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to go on another one. We'll go on the little swing over here. This one will be fun. There you go. There's pant legs. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Whee! Whee! <laughs> Do you want to come over here to the slide? Oh, that's a big slide. That's a big one. Here's a little one. Here, why don't we go up? This one's a little one. Here. Here. Just get his arm and let's pull him over. There. Whee! And that he can go by himself. There you go. There you go. That's a little one. That's a little one. Which side? <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to go backwards? <laughs> Whee! That was fun! That one's the big one. Oh, you want to go on the big one? Which way are you going to go? There's two different ladders. He sees the X see, and O's. Ahead. Alex, look, see? You see the X and O's. That's the play tic-tac-toe. Here, let's go on the big boy slide.
Now you're gonna go down to the little one or the big one? I'm gonna Let's see which way. Let's see which way he goes. Oh, he wants to play with the letters first. <laughs> I think he's going to put all X's. Yep. <laughs> he wants them all the same. Which way? Let's go this way. Oh, you are going to go up the big way. That's the big boy way. Big boy slide. Big boy way. Oh boy, this one, you get to do around a little spiral. I see you. <gasps> okay, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Good boy. Ready? Ready? <gasps> this will be fun. There you go. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Keep going. 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 He's got his foot. Yeah. <laughs> you got the brakes on there, pal. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, where are you going to go now? Look how gloomy and gray it is out here. It felt like it was going to snow earlier. It I know. It like it. It kind of feels like it could. Is this one? Oh, does he want to get back up? I think so. Uh, put him back up and we'll just spin him. Look at this thing. Now that yeah. would be fun to go through, but Alex, I'm just a little bit too old. Let him sit. He's probably safer if he sits. And not go fast. Little spins. Little spins. Whee! That's fun. Spinning round and round on a merry-go-round. Lots of fun when we're spinning round and round. Is that fun? It is. Wee. Woo. All righty. Are we done now? Let's go try something else. You Are you going to get down? Oh, he wants to get down over here. Very good. That's a good boy. Okay, let's come over here. Here. Come over here. We're going to go over here on this thing. We're going to go on the seesaw. Come on. Because that's a ride Bubby and Carly can go on. See, we can go on here. <gasps> that will be fun. Okay, we're next. Yep, let's be careful. You gonna climb to the top? No? You went up the hard way. There was a little step over there. Come over at the step. Oh, he wants to examine it first. <laughs> you want to see if you can go down? You've been down that. I don't know why little kids like to do that. What? Where they like to step like that. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody left some gloves here. Here's their little storage building and the lights are already on. They must be on timers, but the Christmas tree's not on over there. And they have little candles in the window. This park has lots of gazebos. There's two there. There's two back over there. This is their pavilion right here. Young lungs at play. No tobacco. No pets allowed. 
and no peddling or soliciting. So that's nice. And here's the big gate. They'll be closing this and locking it when it gets dark. And we just walked in the door and we got 40, 39 more minutes now. All right, time to turn some lights on because it's getting quite dark outside. So I took my round steak. It usually comes in two long strips and I just cut them in small strips. And you see how fast that goes, how tender it is. And here's my broth today. Okay, so when I showed um, this yesterday about the barbecue sauce, well, I didn't show it to you, but I told you about adding a little bit of water. Um, and here's the two cup mark. Well, you can see we're far away from that. This is probably, I don't even want to say a full half a cup, maybe about a third of a cup of water. You want to put a little bit of water because you don't want the barbecue sauce to stick to the bottom of the pan because it's kind of thick. And as you're cooking it to heat it through, the water evaporates anyway. So I got to get now the barbecue sauce in there. Carly's upstairs with Alex. It's only quarter after five, but um, he started heading up the stairs and Carly asked him where he was going. <laughs> And he goes, bed. He wanted to go to bed. I think he's tired, like he wants a nap. But obviously, we've got to keep him awake. At least a couple more hours. Last few nights, he's actually been falling asleep about 7.30. So he's only got a couple more hours to stay awake. Um, usually what we do, we give him a bath to kind of wake him up a little bit when he gets tired like that. But he's already had a bath. And he's in his Santa Claus pajamas because his Christmas morning is tomorrow morning because Josiah's off. He's usually off on Sunday, but they have him working Christmas Eve, so he's off tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I'll be filming that in the morning, him opening his presents. And in the meantime, um, I'm just putting my beef broth. I got another Ziploc bag ready for it. And here's today's beef broth. Let me show it to you in the light. So, there it is. And it's nice to have that on hand if you need to make gravy, if you need to make um, anything that calls for like beef bouillon, like you've got to add like a cup of beef broth and you use water in bouillon, or um, if you're making soup or stew, something like that, it's nice to have those. And let me show you, um, like in my freezer, hold on. <clears throat> See, there's yesterday's beef broth. And I have that one, and this one here, and another one over there. So I try to keep a little stockpile of it. I don't normally freeze my chicken broth because we have chicken a lot, and I make a lot of things that you can use chicken broth in. And so usually when I have chicken stock, from like when I've roasted a chicken or if I did it in the Instant Pot, it goes in the refrigerator and I end up using it. But the beef broth, um, I save that. And so now I'm starting to get quite a bit of it. So I think I'm going to have to make like, I was thinking yesterday of making a minestrone soup. I'll probably do that like after Christmas. I was thinking about making beef minestrone soup. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye and we'll see you guys tomorrow with Alex opening his You're going to go on the big one or the little one? Big one or little one? He says, nope. <laughs> you want to go on the little one this time? That's a good boy. There, that's a good decision. Oh, you're just going to come down the stairs? Say no slides. Okay. Okay. All right, but we did one thing. We did one thing. Now it's time to go. We got to go get in the car. We got to take that long walk back to the parking lot. Did you have a nice time? That was fun, wasn't it?